Okay, sorry for the air conditioner noise. This one's going to be pretty short. I got the U all glued up, put into place on the shelf brackets. Uh, I still need to bend the ends up. I can just take channel locks and smash it down and bend it up wherever I need to. Uh, I took a water hose to it, rinse all the PB PVC shavings out uh, so they won't be going into my system. I have my two end caps made. I have the one that'll be going here that I can swivel to adjust for the height that I want the water to be. I hope. Get back to that one. And then I have this one over here that is going to be just put into place as a uh, input. I'm going to pipe the input. Is going to I'm just going to pipe over with PVC and have it fed from this tank right here, from the secondary tank. It's the same tank that feeds the grow beds. Uh, then water just siphons from the number one tank through that three inch line back there that's connecting the two. Uh, just water seeking its own level takes care of that for me. But the more water I have coming out of this tank, the more circulation I get. So even though my outlet is right here next to this tank, and it'd be very easy to plumb it to drain right back into the tank, that wouldn't increase any circulation. I'd have water coming out of that tank, running through this tube, dropping back into the tank. So it would help lower the nitrates in this tank only. Wouldn't do anything for anything else. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'll drop back back here, go over with one inch into the sump so that more water is coming out of this tank, going through that system, straight back to the sump. So at least then it's mixed back in and pumped back to that tank to start the cycle all over again. So let me uh, get everything plumbed up and then we'll go from that point. And I know I have a lot of shaking in my videos, but it's because of the nerve damage in my legs. I have uh, twinges and tweaks, tweaks in my back all the time that make me jerk a little bit and then I'm just shaky because of the pain and uh, everything else so please forgive all the shaking I'm trying to get better at it I'll use a tripod when I can from now on but there you go be back okay as you'll note this is going to be the supply side I'm feeding it out of the second fish tank uh, when I add more tanks, I'll simply keep moving things this way and I might change the tank it's being fed from. So that's why I went ahead and left it the way I did. I can always reposition it later on. Basically, it's going to come up from the fish tank and just elbows around and pumps into the tube. The exit will uh, set the height. Now, right now, it just elbows down into the tank. I've got a short section of pipe, PVC. It's got a coupling on it with an adapter that goes from one inch slip to half inch thread. Uh, the hose barb, it comes out of the sprinkler section. It's made for hooking that black uh, water line together, the black sprinkler lines and stuff, but it's threaded for a half inch on one end, hose barb on the other. You can slide your clear vinyl tubing or whatever kind of tubing you're using onto it and be set to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide it on, then I'm gonna drop that whole assembly down in, into the tank and put this up into that elbow so, but there it is that's the canister filter with the 290 gallon per hour pump on it uh, as you notice the lift's not going to be very high it's going to be pumping to a good bit of tube but it's only lifting really about eight inches because lift is measured from the surface of the water to where it's pumping the water to not where the pump is because all this water pressure coming down on that pump makes up for the depth that it's at so that is where you start measuring your head from not down there so head is measured from the surface of the water your pump's going into to the low point of where you're pumping it to or the high point rather of where you're going to be pumping to uh, so right here i'm going to have maybe eight inches ahead at the most then for the outlet Right now, I've got it set to the highest point I could so that I'll have as much water in here as I can get in here to start off with. Now, once the plants start developing roots and the roots are down at the bottom of the net pots, 
I'll go ahead and swivel this around some, drop the height to about midway. I've got to cut a, forgot to cut a little stub to connect these two together, but I'm gonna connect the stub, connect those two, it drops down, drops over, and I'm just gonna pipe it straight over, make a notch in the little cover I put over the hole in the sump, and uh, just pipe it straight through that corner there. And uh, that'll be that. This project will be done.